light. This is Elizabeth Johnson with Southern Embellishment. Hope you're having a great creative day. Um, I wanted to show you, I got this, I went on to eBay. Every now and then I go on to eBay, I look for, um, usually look for like old books to get to alter uh, that has unique covers on them and things like that. Uh, this time I went under ephemera and that's the first time I've done that. And I ordered from this gentleman uh, and first off I want to say I just paid just a few dollars and it was free shipping and handling uh, with of course beautiful butterfly stamps that will have to go into a project but I his service was great and I got it really quick but I wanted to show you what I got now for me this is even probably I don't know how everybody feels about it but for me I thought it was well worth a few dollars I spent Plus, it had things that uh, meant a lot to me growing up as far as the area I was born in and so on and so forth. Products that I used through the years or we had in our home as a child. So that kind of thing, it's, uh, some of this really spoke to me. So I was really glad it was worth it to me to spend a few dollars to get this actual large packet of of ephemera pieces and, and stash. So uh, I'll be using them in my junk journals. And um, so I just wanted to go through and show you a few things um, in case you want to go on eBay and find out. And his his name is Dave Lawton, I believe. L-A-T-E-N. I'm not sure how he spells that, but um, I do not have the name of his store. But I just went under ephemera and found this, and I just thought it was awesome. These are original copies. Uh, well, this is like a carbon copy, but I'm saying it's not from a copier. He actually sent the actual invoices that he had. Um, and this is like a wholesale grocer and distributor, and it, it just gives a list of what they bought and the amount. And so it's a, it's a ledger, and I just thought it was really, really neat. And this comes from uh, Wholesale Grocer in Tennessee. I won't spend a lot of time on each one. Coca-Cola, that was one thing that was in our house at all times. Even though I didn't drink it, my mother lived on it and loved it. And so I remember taking, we were allowed to take at that time, they were in glass bottles and we were allowed to take the bottles and cash them in at the store and get penny candy. So I'm aging myself. I know I'm telling you kind of my age. but So I thought this was neat too. So this is a... a Coca-Cola Bottling Works Incorporated. It shows how many Cokes they got, what they did for deposit, how many empty bottles they turned in. So I thought that was kind of neat. And it's actually on carbon copy paper, so I thought that was neat. And this is another Wholesale Grocers invoice. And uh, this was from 1965. This was the 1960s too, but it doesn't have a date on it. So there's two pages of that. I just thought it would be fun to stick in for drawing spots. Another Coca-Cola. Kearns uh, Brown and Gear Company. This was a 1971. And it had to, uh, it was bread and cake, a bread and cake company. So I thought that was neat. This is an oil com company. Most of this is coming from Lewisburg, uh, Tennessee. But uh, this is Shell, the gas station Shell, for those of you that remember that. And um, that's an invoice. I love this. I love this paper. This is Nabisco. I grew up on Nabisco products. And here's a whole, it's got Nabisco saltines and graham crackers and just a whole of cookies and, and all of that. Lorna Dunes, Fig Newtons, all of that. And, and it has, I'm looking for a date. This was 1965. And, um, this whole order come to four dollars and thirty-five cents. How awesome is that? I thought that was neat. Here's a receipt uh, from a feed and supply store. And again, these are all originals. They're not. It's not like he copied them. He sent the whole thing. Uh, this is some sort of seal test. Oh, this is uh, drinks. This is drinks like. Uh, homogenized vitamin D milk, a half a gallon. Nine half gallons, sorry. So that may have been even, that was in 1969. This is in 78. This is a Coca-Cola Bottling Works receipt. I'll try to go a little faster. So American Bread Company, Sunbeam Bread, I remember that. 
That's a receipt. Royal Crown Bottling Company, uh, RC Cola, uh, Diet Right Cola, that sort of thing. And all of these they had uh, in Ohio where I was born. They sold these. Dr. Pepper, Tom's Toasted Peanuts, receipt for that. Try to go a little faster. Another wholesale distributor. This was uh, 1963. And this looks like uh, some sort of products. Some sort of product company. But it's a wholesale distributor. Cloverland Ice Cream Company. 1969. 1969. This is Pepsi Cola, 7 Up, Receipt. Uh, here's another seal test. This is again uh, milk, an order for milk. Sunbeam bread, another one of those. Another Coca Cola. Uh, these are all in the 60s, from what I can see. This is Sundrop Bottling Company. I have not heard of that one now. That's different. And then here is uh, like a three page, so it can be divided up. This is uh, Charles. Parks Company Wholesale from Gallatin, Tennessee. Um, not sure what they're ordering here. Cheese. Wrigley Spearmint Gum. Some matches. So there's that. Shell Oil again. Coca-Cola Bo Coca Bottling Work. More Coca Cola, and this is more Tom's Toasted Peanuts 1962. This is Kearns, uh, doesn't have anything on there. Sunbeam Bread, here's another Charles uh, Parks. Uh, this was in 78. Margarine Cheese, Planters Peanuts, different things on there. So that's a grocery thing. Uh, oil Company, and this was for fuel for their car. Here's a paint store, 1967 that looks like. Here's another Kearns and it doesn't really say what it's for, but another peanut, Tom's Toasted Peanuts, 1971. I thought it, to me, I enjoyed it. I think they'll make fun pages for junk journals. And again, I only paid a few dollars. It wasn't much at all. And I uh, received these, and it was like fast shipping. He really had great service. Here's another. I'm thinking this was for a grocery store or something. Um, but it's Nabisco and of 1962. And here's another Charles Parks. Not sure what that's for. My little grandson's checking on us. Here's Coca-Cola Bottling Works. And here's another paint store, two cartons of paint for six seventy, and another sunbeam bread. So I got all of this for just a few dollars off of eBay. Just wanted to share it with you and hope you enjoy. I'm going to love putting this in junk journals. Maybe you'll receive one that has some of it in it. Have a great day. Make something pretty.